So in the beginning, I was right out of graduate school and I only had a couple of months. I was hired sort of late into the project and I only had a few months to set up the test battery. So I looked through the literature and I said, okay, here are the things that everybody else has done. I'm going to do it and we'll be able to assess it. So after about a year or so, I'm, I'm realizing that many of the patients we saw, many of the people we saw had traumatic brain injuries that we knew had frontal lobe damage. They were doing pretty well in these tests. Fortunately for me, the wives and sometimes parents of these guys started writing me. And they, because we sent them reports after somebody came, even if this was a research project, we prepared a long report that went back home with them. And they were saying we missed the boat. And they were saying a lot of the problems that they were seeing, we didn't study. And this involved social behavior, how they were like at home, how they got along with their children, if they had young children, uh, what was happening with their work. Uh, could they maintain a job? Could they maintain back in school? And we got lists of problems. So thanks to the caregivers, thanks to the uh, wives and parents, and at that time parents uh, of these guys, uh, we were able eventually to change a little bit of our test battery, certainly for phase three and the current phase, which is just ended now, phase four. A lot of the studies we did are studies uh, aimed at examining social behavior uh, in these veterans uh, who have been incredibly dedicated to our study and come back all the time. Uh, so I think we're now much better prepared to study everything from aggressive behavior to attitudes to uh, the ability of somebody to understand what or at least to guess what somebody else's intentions are in a conversation. So we're, we're much better able to do that now than we were 30 years ago. And we're able to take experimental tests and use them in a way that helps us better understand the outcomes of somebody who's had a traumatic brain injury. So we're doing that now.